Monica Boy here, your regional educator for L'Oreal. I wanted to do a quick review on our tones for um, L'Oreal Professional Color. So let's start with our point one. It's gonna be our blue. Point two is violet. Point three is gold. Point four is copper. Point five is red violet. Point six is red. Point seven is green. Point eight is mocha. And then we have our natural. So these are going to be able to be used within the entire color port portfolio. With our dual coating system, the first number after the decimal point is gonna be your primary tone. The second number is going to be your secondary tone. So for example, with 8.34, we have a primary tone of gold and a secondary of copper, meaning that that copper is just going to enhance that gold just a little bit. If the numbers were reversed, 8.43, you would have a level eight for depth, and a four is gonna be your primary, which is primary copper, and then three is just going to take the edge off a little bit of that copper, so it's not too, too um, intense. No matter what you are using, if you're using Anoa, if you're using Majorelle, if you're using De Rochez or De Light, you were still going to um, use these tones for formulation. I believe that um, makes sense, but what's really nice is that you can utilize the um, tones and the dual coating system throughout the entire L'Oreal Professional portfolio. Let's talk a little bit about ANOA. What is ANOA? What does ANOA stand for? So ANOA stands for Innovative Pneumonia. ODS stands for Oil Delivery System 2. So two parts, meaning you have a tube of color and then you have your developer. What is the difference between Majorelle and Anoa? So Majorelle is our ammoniated hair color. Our alkaline derivative is ammonia. With Anoa, our alkaline derivative is MEA, which is short for monoethanolamine. Differences between ammonia and MEA are going to be that ammonia does tend to open up or swell that cuticle just a little bit more than MEA. Why would I choose Anoa over Majorel? The main reason would be if you have a client that is sensitive, sensitive to ammonia, has a tendency to feel a little bit of irritation. We do recommend that you do a patch test if the client does say that she is a little bit sensitive to ammonia, or maybe she's sensitive to all alkaline derivatives. So we wanna be safe and make sure that we are doing a patch test. Talk a little bit more about the oil delivery system. With our oil delivery system, you have the colorant and the MEA, which is our alkaline derivative, immersed in oil, which is our developer. With the MEA and the colorant, which is a, a water dye molecule, it cannot absorb the oil of the developer. So during the de uh, development time, it has no choice but to repel because it can't be absorbed, right? The water of the color of the colorant cannot go inside of the oil because it is oil and oil and water don't mix, right? So it is going to repel it and it doesn't have any other choice but that oil just to um, push water dye molecule that. and the MEA right into the hair when shaft. Mixing ANOA, you have your color and your developer. It's going to be, the mixing ratio is going to be one to one, one part of your color. And it will also say on the box, one to one mixing ratio, along with your developer. Equal parts is going to be your mixing ratio for ANOA. Your processing time is going to be 35 minutes and absolutely no heat. When you are um, applying ANOA color, it is a premium service. It is going to take a little bit longer because you are making sure that you take very small sections, one eighth inch subsections, to ensure that you are um, applying the product on the bottom and the top of that section, pushing the color into the hair and um, making sure that you do uh, saturate the hair, but not too much. Where you place that color is where the color stays. Applying for white coverage, sometimes we may have a little bit of, of our white hair kind of sticking up a little bit. If you do not lay those down with the color, 
they will not be covered. So I like to use uh, end paper because it is very lightweight uh, to make sure that, that those little um, pieces sticking up do lay down. Is where you place that color is where the color is going to stay. So within Anoa, we have our developers, which are a very important part of the technology using the proper designated Anoa developer with the Anoa 10 volume, 20 and 30. 10 giving you one level of lift, two levels of lift with 20 and three levels of lift with 30. When someone has more than 70% white or unpigmented hair, you want to make sure that you are incorporating white coverage tool into Tools their for white coverage in Anoa are gonna be your natural, your double natural, which is your extra coverage, and your um, gold natural. We do recommend with our double natural series that you do um, not mix with a target shade to ensure that you are getting optimal white coverage. If the client is more than 70% white or unpigmented, you wanna make sure that you're incorporating a natural, an extra coverage, which is our double natural, a gold natural, creating a formula for white coverage. You will find that we have boxes that are labeled with a white tab. These are going to be the tools that you're going to use for white coverage. If the client is less than 70% white and not resistant, then you do not need to incorporate any of the uh, white tab boxes. You can use your target shade and you will get 100% white coverage. When the client more than 70% white, you wanna make sure that you are formulating half of your formula with a white coverage tool, N, double N, or your gold natural with half of your target shade. Processing time is still gonna be 35 minutes, and for optimal white coverage, 20 volume is Let's recommended. talk a little bit more about our Gold Natural Series. Our Gold Natural Series is going to be for anyone looking for, a, um, for white coverage, but also looking for a warm end result. So you will have, for example, 9.3 Gold 9 Natural. 9.3, 9.3. They both say 9.3 forward slash 9G. One is with the white tab and one is with the gold tab. The one with the white is going to be for anyone more than 70% white. This one is anyone less than 70% white or not resistant. Some way or another, could I mix the two together? Half of this uh, gold natural and half of 9.3? Absolutely, if you're looking for a um, intense gold reflect. You can do that. Anything with a white tab is going to be for white coverage. Gold Natural is, is going to be your go-to if somebody is looking for a um, warm target shape. You wanna make sure that you are only utilizing the double end series when they are resistant and also uh, more than 70%. Let's talk about our high resist technology. Our high resist 7.11 high resist. So what does that mean? It means that it is going to be resistant to fading. The voice mix of combating brassiness. Maximum hydration. With this, we have a patented technology that we created. What is the technology? Traditionally, we had a base with a coupler. So analogy here, you have two people latched on, arm to arm like this, going through a normal sized door, right? It's pretty easy to wiggle your way through that door. Now we've created the, with the high resist technology, we have, for example, three people latched on, arm to arm like this. We have a, um, your base, your, high resist coupler, which is gonna be that other person, that middle person, and then you have your um, traditional ANOA coupler. So now three linked molecules trying to get through a normal size door. It's going to resist a little bit, a little bit, right? It's going to take a little bit longer to get through there. That's the technology behind the high resist. With the high resist technology, if they are more than 70% white, you wanna make sure that you are including a gray coverage tool. 
because with the high resist technology, if they are more than 70% white or resistant, you will need to, to ensure that you're going to get 100% white coverage. You need to make sure that you are adding a natural or a gold natural to that formula. A little bit about the next series within ANOA, it's going to be our carmeline technology. So our carmeline technology is going to be a dye molecule that was also created by L'Oreal Professionnel that is a star-shaped dye molecule. It's really going to help latch on to that hair fiber. Because it is a unique technology, you wanna make sure that you are mixing carmeline with carmeline. We also have a DM5 as well as rubelaine. So those are gonna be the three different categories within the carmeline technology. Also able to achieve 100% white coverage. With this technology as well, you wanna make sure that you are not intermixing with anything else. Carmeline with Carmeline, DM5 with DM5, Rubelaine with Rubelaine. You still have the same mixing ratio of equal parts, one part of your color, one part of your developer, 35 minute processing time. And unique technology is also going to help you achieve that 100% white coverage. You wanna make sure that you are not incorporating a tool or an intensifier or anything into this formula. You wanna make sure that you're just using um, carmeline or rubelaine or DM5. We also have clear. Clear is going to be the same base as our um, all of our Anoa shades minus the pigment. So what can an, uh, the Anoa Clear be used for? It is great for diluting a formula if you're trying to get more of a, um, a fun um, target shade. You can use uh, the clear for diluting. You can use the clear by itself. The only thing is you need to remember that it doesn't have any pigment to it. So if you're needing to enhance or to control something, it will not be able to do that because it is only clear. You can mix with 20 or uh, 10, 20 or 30 volume, still the same processing time, still this uh, of 35 minutes and uh, the one mixing ratio. If you are um, wanting to use the clear for a base break, just remember that it is a alkaline color. I mean, it is permanent and also it doesn't have any pigment. So you could be exposing a little bit of warmth if you choose to use the um, Anoa Clear for a, um, a base break. Just keep that in mind. Please reach out and, and let me know if you have any additional questions regarding um, Anoa and I will be happy to help. Thank you and have a great day.